so the video we're watching today is 16 mysterious creatures caught on live tv hopefully we got some good stuff on this one this live interview was taken somewhere in South America, only when the footage was later zoomed in and enhanced were they able to discover something strange in the background. What the hell is that? It kind of looks like a stick, man. If it wasn't on live TV, I'd say it was some shoddy CGI. But the fact this is live TV, I don't know what that is. Bueno, básicamente en eso hemos sido este, convocados para la realización del. Bueno, básicamente en eso hemos yeah, sido it's definitely weird. Convocados para la realización. What looks to be some sort of extraterrestrial creature with arms that are as long as its legs can be seen casually walking towards them. Its motives are unknown, but it does not appear to be alarmed or threatening. If this isn't CGI, then this is certainly a once in a- Hold up! Wait a minute! Something ain't right! You know now that's slowed down. I feel like it's just a guy walking his dog. But for some reason, due to the- The distance, I think it's making, like, crazy- And the camera quality as well. I think it's just distorting him. I feel like it's just a guy with his dog, because there's kind of summit on the ground. Which would be, like, dog height. So I reckon it's just a bloke walking his dog and now he's internet famous for being some kind of alien in the desert. <laughs> uh, the world's weird. A group of forest rangers set up a camera at the Platte River State Fish Hatchery in Michigan to live stream a nest of baby bald eagles mature. They were never intending to accidentally capture a second much larger creature instead during the live feed. That like a big foot or something. Strange that 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 is pretty cool. I'm surprised I've never seen this clip before with people being so obsessed with catching Bigfoot. That seems like a pretty good cut. A giant humanoid figure covered in what appears to be black fur prowls around the forest floor below. It doesn't look like any other native forest animal as it clearly stands up. It's proper walking like a man as well upright and swings its arms while walking maybe it's a person in a full body suit or maybe it's an actual bigfoot then again since numerous other bigfoot sightings have been reported in the state over the years it could very well be legit that one is a bit weird for somebody to walk through there with a gorilla costume on or something they would have had to have known that that camera was there i mean i suppose that is possible but Pretty cool. I like that one. This aerial footage was broadcast live during a period of bad weather in Hebron, Ohio. Take a look at this flooded neighborhood. <laughs> period of bad weather is flooded. That's extreme weather, not bad weather. And tell me if you see anything abnormal lurking in the dirty brown water. Yeah, with uh, some specialist, Carl Parker. So if you want to stay on and uh, have a listen, Carl's been looking at that. Uh, 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 from that angle and so far away that looks like a snake however it's probably just a log or something worst case situation an alligator or a crocodile whichever I, I, I never understand the difference between the two but yeah if, if that's any kind of creature i'd say it was like an alligator or a crocodile but Unless they've got that kind of wildlife nearby, I'd say this is probably just uh, a big branch or a downed tree or something. A worm-like creature appears to wind its way around a house shortly before the camera zooms out. While this could be an ordinary piece of driftwood from the way it's moving in the water, I wouldn't be surprised if the floodwaters cause some sort of giant parasite to emerge from the sewers below. It's genderless. Pretty how many these are off in hermaphroditic. Mulder, this is amazing. Its vestigial features appear to be parasitic, but it has primate physiology. This is a bit extreme that there is a giant parasite. I've got a feeling Chills likes these horror movies because uh, that's a bit of a stretch. But it, yeah, Chills confirmed what I said that 
there's probably a piece of driftwood or something because if you notice at first it looks like it's got that kind of curve that snakes have but it never actually moves from what i can see so the fact that it's kind of stationary but still moving i'd say that was wood i hope it was wood because that means they are, not only did they have to deal with the houses being flooded but they had to deal with some monstrous creature swimming around in the water by him this soccer match appears to be interrupted by a creature from another dimension one team is about to go for a penalty kick when a strange white figure literally runs through everyone in the crowd without slowing down. See, I've seen another similar one like this where they run at the top of the stadium. If this was genuinely live, then that's weird. But I've got a feeling it's two videos put together. So one of the stadium when it's empty, someone goes running around, running along the bottom. Then you just put that on top of the other footage, change the opacity, and it looks like somebody's running through. It's quite a simple trick, really. If that happened on live TV, then that's awesome. And there's definitely something weird you know what would make this more believable if it was some of the run across the pitch rather than the stadium where people are going to be i mean this would be awesome paranormal to catch but can you imagine if footballers are playing a game of football or soccer if you're in america and then all of a sudden a ghost just runs out onto the pitch one if you saw the footage like this you yeah you could again question that it might be superimposed but if they were reacting to it and looking at it, then it would be solid proof. If that ghost is going to make an appearance, why doesn't it make an appear appearance and run on the pitch? I, I think I think that's faked, personally. I've seen another clip where it's pretty much the same thing. The fact that there are several clips of this very same thing, but from a different angle or a different row, it's, clearly it's an easy thing for people to fake that could be a camera malfunction but since everyone on the field is standing still then i don't understand how this kind of glitch can happen if someone has an explanation for this situation then please let me know because this definitely looks i feel like this isn't live footage simply because if you're watching a live football match on tv whatever channel it is that you've got has got all the bars of the scores and sometimes there's information at the bottom of the screen there's none of that on the screen so i think somebody's took this image and just tampered with it i don't think this is live footage at all this video was streamed live during the 2014 tsunami in japan while this man records the rushing waters wash away his neighborhood he sees what could be a strange creature briefly climb a building. Now, that is scary. Can you imagine seeing that water coming towards you or being close to where you live? I mean, touch wood, I've never lived in an area where flooding is an issue, but it must be horrible for people that live places like that. Just paranoid that you might not be able to use the car to get home and you have to get out the boat. Scary. Building and disappear. Watch again in slow motion and tell me if you see the white creature. If that didn't disappear at the end, I would have just assumed it was some form of plastic bag maybe even a sheet or piece of clothing or something dependent on the wind obviously a thinner piece of clothing the way it moves in the beginning i don't know if you've ever seen like a money sheets get blown off the line or something and it kind of flicks up in the air it looks like that at first but it's the fact that it disappears that i can't explain I mean, I, I don't know if somebody's doctored this. I know you can use After Effects and stuff like that. Me personally, I feel like you'd have to be really good at that stuff to create what that's just seen. I 
could be wrong. Somebody out there could be able to explain that to me. If you can, comment down below and tell us how that's been done. Out of the clip so far, I believe that one is a bit strange. I, I don't know how that's been done. I, th I think that could be a bit genuine. I personally think that it could just be a wave, but I'm not sure. Look closely and you'll see how wave. the wave suddenly seems to change course in midair and go onto a roof instead. I know uh, that tsunamis have a tremendous amount of force, so maybe this is just what happens when a strong... That actually makes a bit of sense now. I didn't even think of that, but yeah, if, if some water had kind of whipped, that would be why all of a sudden it disappeared, because while it's all kind of together, we're seeing the solid bit of it, but then at the top it's kind of spurted out and that's why it looks like it disappears i reckon that's probably the logical explanation there to be honest i appreciate that chills brought that up because i wouldn't have even thought of that strong wave hits on the other hand the person who recorded this video swears that it was a well camouflaged creature i'd like to know if you think he is right this video was streamed live from telemark norway a YouTuber named Odin's 2 sees a gigantic disturbance in the water, so he pulls over and starts recording. This is what he sees. I don't know what I'm looking at here. It starts out as a long and skinny, shimmering mass, but after a while it really starts to take form, especially in the center. Possibly as the monster rises very close to the surface. I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking Since at. Since there are no boats nearby and the water is mostly calm, many people suspect that this is a famous legendary sea serpent named Seljord, which is Norwegian for Selma. It's kind of like Norway's version of the Loch Ness monster. I guess it could just be fishing nets or a long string of garbage instead, but it's hard to tell for certain. Maybe someone out there with fishing experience can let me know if it looks like any of those things. The Myrtles Plantation in Louisiana has been named one of the most haunted places in America, as Vanessa Bolano was- I've seen Ghost Adventures go to here. If I remember rightly, I think it was quite a decent episode. Doing a news report on ABC, something strange flies past her in the background, spirits supposedly live here but the owners say they're all haunted friendly. room in the most haunted house in america mm. pretty crazy tune in for the full story on i almost missed that i mean it is weird and it is live so i think live or being regardless uh yeah See, that, that probably is real because it is really hard to see. It's not exactly like really prominent, so chances are that that is genuine because if they were going to fake it, they'd probably put a bit more into it. So I reckon that's probably real. Small white specter moves extremely fast and doesn't appear to be a piece of dust or any kind of light reflection. Beyond that, I find it an extremely strange coincidence that she happens to be talking about the 12 spirits shortly before this takes place. I guess they could have edited this in for ratings, but given the reputation of this area, I think it could very well be paranormal. A local journalist is covering the wintry weather in Springfield, <laughs> Massachusetts, when a much more interesting story pops up behind her. 6.15 to 6.30, it has not let... I reckon before this carries on, because the weather is so bad, and this is clearly a report about the weather, I reckon some guy has figured out that he's probably going to be the warmest if he goes out in a ghillie suit. With the aesthetics of the snow and his ghillie suit, it just looks super weird. <laughs> but <laughs> not going to lie, I'm, I'm looking forward to the reaction of this news reader here. please don't disappoint me watch and not even notice up at all it is coming down pretty steadily here in springfield you can the creature looks slow and powerful as it lumbers towards them bad weather or <laughs> <sighs> chills are you seriously calling that a creature it's clearly a guy in some form of girly suit the creature. Wow. 
please redeem yourself and clear up that it's not a creature chills, please. Okay. That's clearly a ghillie suit. No, I, I find it hard to believe that a monster would just walk around a busy town without some sort of immediate police response. No shit. And it me. doesn't look like computer generated effects. So this was likely just a person in a costume. A YouTuber named Jay Katera lives outside of an Air Force base somewhere in the Southeast Michigan. He has been seeing some strange things in the sky lately. So he decides to point his security camera straight up in live stream. Not too long after, he captures this strange sighting. Jake Atera isn't sure if this is an alien UFO, a secret government project, or some sort of paranormal orb, but he is sure that it was scanning the ground as if it was looking for something. Let me know if you have a reasonable explanation for this. That is a little bit weird. If you saw that in the sky, you'd think it was a UFO. There's not really much more I can comment on that. I, I, don't, I don't know what kind of things you can get that light up the sky and things. If that tech exists, then I suppose you could, you know, like laser pens or anything like that, but I don't think there's anything we can create that does that just yet. So, yeah, possibly a UFO. Well, it is a UFO if you can't identify it. So, yeah. A YouTuber named Ariette Jane is live streaming a road trip. Why has he got a domino mask on? It's a little bit bizarre. Looks like he's about to start fighting crime. If this guy comes across something dressed like a superhero and runs off terrified, I'm not going to be happy. When suddenly an unidentified creature bursts through the traffic, nearly causing a wreck. Here we are. Here San Diego Freeway Diego. coming up. We are there. Awesome. Dude. I thought this was supposed to be live footage. That was clearly edited. That that looked like CW The Flash type special effects. I mean, the fact the guy's got a superhero mask on and then the Flash apparently runs past his car tells you how fake this is. When I used to watch Chills years ago, I remember being freaked out by a lot of the clips he showed. Now, I don't know if it's just I'm having a bad run and picking video. Either I just don't get scared by this stuff anymore or the content has changed. But I used to love watching his videos. They used to freak me the hell out. I don't think out of all the clips I've watched over the past couple of days while recording these, I think there's only been like one or two that I consider genuine. I suppose this is the problem with technology now. You know, the more the more t technology advances, the more likely things are to be edited and created. He wasn't on, he wasn't on a motorcycle. The speeding object leaves a short trail of fire behind. Do you have any idea how fast I am? I'm fast as fuck, boy! It looks like it has a turbocharger of some sort, yet it's going way too fast to be an ordinary vehicle. My guess is that it's just so it's either a cheap app that's just probably 10. I had an app years ago, like 10 years ago, that would put in badly CGI crashes, or they've, they've edited it in through something like Wondershare or, or HitFilm. This is computer generated special effects. But if that is the case, then I don't know how he got the cars to slow down all at once to make this shot look so realistic. Maybe there was traffic ahead or something and he edited this creature in later. Either way, Ariette Jane swears that this video is 100% real, and I'd like to know if you agree with him or not. Come on, don't bullshit me. No, I do not. I think it's fake. Clearly, the flash didn't run down the streets. This live dashcam video was taken somewhere in Russia. 
It looks like a normal drive when suddenly an enraged creature changes all of that. So the road splitting open doesn't look like CGI to me, which means it's either real or part of a movie set. At first I thought that was another fake clip. But... I've got no explanation for that one. My logic is maybe an underground explosion or something that threw the rock up, but... That one's baff That one's got me. Like Chill said, if it's... If it's from a film set, they do knew. But my initial reaction in the beginning was it was another fake clip like the Flash one. This next part, however, looks like it could be CGI. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> okay, it's all CGI. Like I said, I used to have... Um, it's probably more, that's probably the same app. It's probably got better, but when I used to work in insurance on my lunch break, downloaded an app and I would record stupid videos and send them to my mates. Like the first couple made out like I'd witnessed a pile up and things like that, which even back then they could tell it was CGI. I reckon they've just added extra stuff onto that app now. Because it, 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 the noises and everything were all very similar to that. I can't remember what it was called now. I think it was called Movie FX or something like that. <clears throat> this is disappointing. I was hoping to see genuine scary things. The audio kind of sounds like royalty-free stock sound effects, especially the screaming. I noticed that two people to the side of the road on the left don't seem to run away, but maybe they are just <laughs> stunned and watching. Number four, two friends are live streaming in a San Francisco subway tunnel for no reason in particular when they randomly run across something they were never meant to see. A trail of red leads them around a dumpster where they find a distressed woman who is either a victim of her own madness or else something far more sinister. Ah, uh, I think I've briefly seen this. I think this could be quite an old clip. I thought at first based off the previous two clips that that may be a little bit fake then but if this is the clip i'm thinking of then it's a bit weird the woman herself is covered in red as she twists and screams on the subway floor the two friends are talking about how they can help this poor creature or if she can even be helped when suddenly she lets out a shriek and comes flying towards them It's hard to tell whether she is a possessed creature or just a loop. At first, I was, well, I was trying to look at this two ways. First is that there's some kind of possession, which that's not normal behavior. Could be. But then my next thought was, maybe she's a narcotic addict and having a really bad trip. But there is a bit where... I don't know what it is from behind the bin or wherever it, that she is. Like, I don't know if it's phone, fag packet or something. It's kind of kicked over to the right. But then as she's kicking around, she's not near it. And that moves back this way again. That was strange. So if that has moved on itself... I've got no explanation for that. So if things are strangely moving around her and defying the laws of physics, then I guess it's safe to say this is probably a possession. Illusional, or simply participating in a very realistic prank. I'm not sure what happened to them next, or if the two friends made it out alive. I swear, she ran past them then. Right, so let's have another look at that. So watch this here. Just down here. Get rid of that. So that went there, then there. Now watch. That's going to come back over this way in a moment. 
that's just moved on itself. That's just, yeah, I've got no explanation for that thing moving around on itself unless like it's an iPod or something. I can't make out what it is. And there's some, I mean, you'd see the headphones, I guess. I don't know. The, the fact that it goes over to the right and then comes back, even though she's not near it, that's, that's a little bit weird. That one freaks me out a bit, not going to lie. If it is fake and somebody was acting, then did he, did a good job. A live broadcast in Detroit, Michigan captures a bouncing creature in the forest background. Hey, Glenda, good afternoon to you. Uh, yeah, this guy had no respect for the judge, obviously, and prosecutors say no respect. I thought that it might be some kind of fox That's hopping cat. through the grass, but this humanoid creature almost looks like it's running back into the forest, away That's from like sight. Cat. Let me know what kind of animal. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm seeing a cat there. I can't explain why it's bouncing so much, but I mean, the ears are a dead giveaway. And that grass, even if it's not been cut, is probably only up to probably no nowhere past your knees. So, yeah, I, I reckon that was a cat. Oh, God, why are these videos? Why are the scary ones? Well, you think this could be, especially cat. if you live in Detroit, and tell me if this is what it looks like when a fox cat. is traveling through tall grass, because that's my best guess. Bruh. This live broadcast captures what appears to be an impossible error on camera. Watch the news anchor on the left and see what happens. Here it is again in slow motion in case you missed it. Everything from a hologram to an alien has been proposed. But I guess it could be some kind of camera malfunction. Maybe someone... I agree that does look weird. But when it's slowed down, you can see it's either just a glitch or, or an overlay to make it look weird. But I, yeah, I don't think this is anything paranormal. And who knows more about cameras can let me know if this is a technical malfunction or not. What looks like a routine traffic stop suddenly becomes extraterrestrial within the blink of an eye. A police officer asks for a license and registration when things take an unexpected turn. The police officer looks normal up to this point, but then he makes a slight moan and hunches over. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man! Sh I'm saying. You can see all that is left is a smoldering pile of ashes. I can't tell if his clothes were disintegrated as he was. Is this a joke? Uh, I don't know what to say.
Well, that was definitely fake. I, I, I don't understand what's going on here because I remember watching these scary clips for not just chills, for other channels as well. And they would always freak me out. There would be, all, I mean, some of them you'd be like, okay, maybe that's a little bit fake, but they still looked really good and they would freak you out. But a lot of the stuff in this video, like it, it two chills credit, it's a, it's a good video. It's just, I feel like none of it was scary. Most of it was, I mean, I don't, I don't understand why we're putting CGI videos in there. I, I, I I may have misunderstood Chill's channel. I was orig I originally thought it was for like tr like paranormal clips that are found around the world and things, but clearly, I mean, surely when Chills was editing this, he did like the things with Flash running down the street and that moth creature. There's no way he looked at that and thought any of that was genuine. To be fair, the Ouija one, the first one I did, was a little bit better. Maybe he went through a patch where he couldn't find more genuine clips because he'd used so many. I don't know. Still a good channel. I'll still watch more of his stuff. I'll probably try and look for the older stuff that's more scary, dependent on what the next video is like.